Hope you guys are having a lovely morning so far. It is early. I don't normally stream this early, <laughs> but here we are. Streaming this early. Please excuse me while I get a few things sorted. Apologies, yep, yeah, this... And I am officially back. I am sorry about that. <laughs> and let's see where Stella and Daffodil will go today. At least somewhere with... I don't know. Lemons. What do you want, Summer? Stella, I don't want to disturb you with this, but... For the last several weeks, I have been having strange dreams. They were of a giant snake and, a mes and of menacing reefs and of rotten fruits. Since joining you and your crew, well, very much clearer. I think the air of the sea. I think it's the air of the sea. Or maybe the mystical energies of the other light. Anyway, I'm now convinced that my, my dreams have been visions. And furthermore, I think they might be coming from a mutual acquaintance. Been looking at, been looking at the map, in, at the map in your cabin. Yeah. <laughs> My eyes keep being drawn to specific, specific spot. I my God, I'm. <sighs> Think we should visit. No point in making it wait. Oh, need to water my carrots. Okay, this morning, S snake lady doesn't, okay. Good morning. There seems to be quite a new faces aboard. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I just don't want you to forget about your old uncle Atul. You know me, I'm Mr. Personality. I can get along with anyone, anywhere, anytime. I just don't. I just didn't figure I'd have to make new friends at my age. You don't have to worry. I'll be alright. Sorry I even brought it up. I'll just go stand on the edge of a boat and take in the splendor. You know? Mm. Hopefully no bugs will fly in my mouth. That's no fun. Oh, <laughs> you're such a sweetheart. 
I've got something on my mind. Give me a minute. Well, I'll give you some food then. Oh boy! I just love food. Keep them coming. I can't get enough of it. Are you hungry now? Oh, thank you. Eh. My stuff. New order my stuff. <laughs> Thanks for nothing, Dad. You didn't, you didn't warn me. Stella, you did good. Have a, a toy. Calm it, please. Now we've got a real boat going. You'll have to take care of the new passengers now. They'll be the one testing impatience, not me. But before all that, I have something to ask you. You might not have noticed it now, but sleeping in the guest house is not the ideal scenario for any of us. Especially not since it got crowded in there. Look, I'm not complaining, you know. You've been terrific up to this point, and it would be terribly rude of me to blame you for anything. But I think it's time for me to have a space of my own. A nice little house, unpretentious but sophisticated with a cozy vibe. A space in which I could read and unwind. Far from the turmoil of a deck, oddly enough, I'd see something with an alpine flair. See, even I can be filled with nostalgia sometimes. Again, I'm going to be pushy on this, but I'd be delighted if you could build it for me. Let's see what you need, Gwen. You're my girl, so... I don't think I will might. Ah! I can do that. Maybe. Could do it. I can improve things? Nope. Prove that. Fire glowing linen thread. Fire glowing. Nope. Nope. Okay. Right. You love it? This cabin is outstanding. It really does wonders to a place you have. It really does wonders to have a place for your own. Reading. It's not my strong point when it's out loud. <laughs> Doesn't it remind you of my old condo in on Waverly? Probably the one pl only place where I could get some peace and quiet. Thank you, old friend. Yay! Of course, it's actually made of plastic. What? What up? I took a look at your blueprint station. It's nice, I suppose. But you know what would make it even greater? More plans, bigger buildings, better pencils. If you can get me better pencils, I'll go ahead. I'm just saying. I'm sure Albert at Albert's shipyard could help you out. I want to go to him.
Ok. Mita, this building needs some work done. I'm always ready for some DIY action. I just hope you others appreciate it. So do I. I've been thinking about Father recently. When he left with Doug, I didn't feel anything. No oh. sorrow, no hate, no relief. Nothing. Oh. It didn't really matter to me. But it mattered to you. You spent three days crying in Aunt Petunia's room. I bought you three sisters and gave you that damn oversized sweater I had knitted a month oh. prior. Mum was appalled, but you felt better. I've long wondered why you were so sad. The best I could come up with is that you were sad in my stead. Mm. Feelings I couldn't feel myself. Don't hide in your room. There's a lovely room there. Oh, you gotta be hungry now. Don't you? I don't eat any animal product. No breast milk. No over. Certainly not. Food would not meant meat. No, no. I'm sorry. I won't impose my choices on others, but I cannot eat that. Um. Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. You make it easy. I need to go get the raspberries now, but I know someone won't eat anything. It's not her fault. She's lovely. I love her. But so I'll have all these soon, so that's something. Water, water, water. Okay. Okay, yeah, I overreacted. I feel bad now. Give me some corn. What's in here? Cool. So didn't <laughs> wasn't expecting this. What's up, Seagull? Bye, Seagull. I could go for it. I d yeah, I'm not even gonna. Yeah. I've got some fiber I bought. I was gonna use it to weave some thread for you later, but if you want, I can give it to you now. Do you want it? Yeah. Sure. Here it is. Thank you. Give me a hug. I love you, Gwen. Yeah. Such a sweetheart. Yeah. Feeling much better. Excuse me, guys, I need to go on an adventure. I need to pick up a couple things. I'm gonna need to go talk to Sharky Guy. I remember his name. I'm great with names. It's like one more bush, right? Nope. Hey, I can double jump now. Once again. I just forget everything, don't I?
Sorry guys, responding to a message. Okay, and I am back again, sorry. Get a little distracted with messages. The only person here that'll eat the mussels is a tool. Summer will only eat fruits and vegetables, which isn't much of a problem, I suppose. Gwen is allowed to be as fussy as she wants, because I love her. May as well cook all of them. What's your mood like? You're hungry. Food. I have... Oh yeah, I have your favorite thing ever. This is one damn fine cup of coffee. I've... I've had... I've had I can't tell how many cups of coffee in my life. But this one is the best. Thank you very much, Stella. <laughs> Doesn't like tools banging? Well, I can't help with that, can I? You need to be such a negative Nancy. That'll take a while. That's okay, Snake Lady. I will help with your problems. Just gonna do a little bit of fishing, then it's time for bed. Bay shrimp, cool. Come on. Oh, that was close. <laughs> okay, that's enough fishing before I break something. <laughs> I do hope I can get everything for... I think... Yeah, it's fine. For now. I don't know, maybe? Anyways, time for bed. It's nice to have my little baby. take a little while but do need to visit him need to talk about the upgrades and my muscles are ready heck yeah
I just need to cook my, my shrimp. Water my vegetables. Got some carrots, got some turnips. Everyone loves turnips, right? This stuff is exciting. This stuff is fun to grow. It's this button, right? Yeah, okay, it is. Nope. Give up. I quit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I love her. Okay. What am I catching? Ooh, fancy vase. Strange thing to catch out here, but I'll I'll take it. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Ooh, soul. Finally have one. Oop, nope, food's ready. What did I cook? Shrimp cocktail. Okay. Weird. Um, hello, onion man. Hello there, young lady. I guess you must be the, you must be the new spirit, Farah. Happy to make your acquaintance. Mm -hmm. I'm Francis. You could say I'm sort of a wandering merchant. See, I'm very fond of things. Uh, mm -hmm. Objects curious to chokes. To chotkes. I buy everything. Simply put, I will buy anything you don't want anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you've come across a few valuable treasures already. So tell me, what is it you want to part with? What are, what are you selling? Ooh, ooh, that's expensive. I'm immensely chipper to see dynamic young ladies being so hard at work. Not that Sharon wasn't a true professional, but his manners were, well, a bit cold, if you know what I mean. He kept everything he found. What a pity. But you're here now. Huzzah, if I dare say. And oh, and don't fret, budding oh. Marina. If I have ever needed, old Francis will never be too far. But don't let, don't let me be an impediment to your appetite for adventure. Go on, sit sail, little blue jackets. I'll sell you. Stella, my stomach is rumbling. Would you have anything to nibble on? Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. Mm. Give me a hug. Oh, look, you snake. Oh, you're sweet. Dang it. You're ready now, aren't you? You are ready. Great. Useful. Be useful. I need to cook everything. I don't have any veggie seeds. I need to go out and buy some veggie seeds. Well, well. I've got that weird feeling. I'm actually rather hungry. Okay. Oh, well, thank you, Stella. I love comfort food so damn much. I've got some thread here. It's gonna. Oh. Sure. Thank you. Okay. I already forgot what I was cooking. 
We'll grow fish. Great. Don't know if anything needs to be watered. Oh, cool. I have coffee now. Okay, um. Anyways, I need to go talk to the shop guy. Yeah, I know you love food. You're the only one that'll eat my muscles. Bye guys, don't burn the houseboat down while I'm gone. Plus. Super plus. I've been getting your mail here for the past month. I'm not a post office. You need an add in the mailbox to your boat. If I get one more letter filled with glitter, I'll lose it. I'm warning you, you might be a customer, but I reserve the right to yell it to you. Get it done. No, you don't. I heard they just fired an employee at the popcorn factory. He was a good worker, but they found him sleeping on the cob. <laughs> That's actually... I haven't actually heard that one before. <laughs> I need bigger belt. Okay, cool. I would love to... Okay, what do I need for the stupid mailbox? Linen, lightning in a bottle, maple plank. Got it. Cool. Can't make any promises, but I do need to go past the lightning storm, so I guess. I don't have anything to do! I'm a surplus of energy. I need to get my hands busy. Can you do me a solid? You've always been my favorite niece, you know that. I think I need a place to focus that energy. In a sawmill, yeah. You're just missing some key components. Materials, which I'm sure you can find on nearby islands. I'm counting on you to help me out. So you don't want your old old... Your, Old uncle sleep on the deck, right? I'm getting there. I just upgraded a bunch of stuff. Okay. Time to start weaving those fibers into shiny thread. Nope. Okay, I get it. Whatever. Hopefully I'll be able to help you find stuff elsewhere. Um. I don't know what a quartz dragon is, but we're going to it. Wait. Oh well, those things can wait. Swoosh! Swoosh! Need more linen. Why do you need watering and nothing else does, huh? I'm not actually cooking anything at the moment, am I? I am, whoops. Ok, 
actually, now that I have more sp okay, good. What's in here? Woo, some more vegetable seeds. Okay, I'll water them. There. Yeah. I never expected him to say no to a snack. Of course you're not hungry. Snakes don't... Oh, okay, we're in a storm. Great. Cool, I don't need... To different kinds of fish. I need, I need lightning. Guess it's not storming yet. So, whatever fishing time it is. Oh boy. Black tiger shrimp, cool. What is? Oh, this. I thought that might be it. The dragon. I guess it's in. It is inevitable that it would be here. What you? It, what? I mean, I know it said dragon on the map, but <laughs> this isn't what I was expected. You know. Follow me always, even in this world. Our destinies, well, they're intertwined, are they not? Still, for all the harm it has done me, it looks quite in pain, doesn't it? The rocks on the back oozing with corruption, perhaps chipping away at it might soothe it. Go ahead, Stella. All the creature deserves, all creatures deserve love and care. Do what you do best. Hit it, hit it. There you go, I hit it. That's what you wanted, right? Cool, got some quartz. Please excuse me while I beat up this dragon. Weird looking dra dragon. Okay. I see how it is. Hello, dragon. Doing quite well, are you? No? Daffodil, you can go back to the boat if you want. You don't, you don't need to stick around. I can make it. I can make it. Hit cha. Dead. 
did it. Hey, buddy. Oh, that looks better now, doesn't it? It looks relieved, doesn't it? I wonder what it means. If we have it across this dragon's path again, I think we should help it. However, I might, f I might feel about it. So now, although I think some time to collect my thoughts. Thank you, Stella, for everything. Bye, dragon! Would you like... No? Oh, this rain, will it ever stop? I don't like it. Get inside it, Summer. Oh, okay. Well, let's sleep till morning, my friends. In the rain. I'm sure you guys don't mind. Uh, I need to stretch. All right. All right, all right, all right. Now where? Oh, let's let's go there. Why not? Let's do a little more fishing as well. Why not? Just do all these little things. Ooh. <laughs> Greetings from Furugawa. Experience the wonders of the great oak forest and serenity of the magnetic, magnificent field rides. Now available. Cool. Oh, wait, Green Holden Bay, I was reading a pamphlet. Okay, let's go. Daffodil, we have some wood to cut. And... Oh, it didn't break. And... Break. 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 Thank you. God. Took your time. Hey, I came out here to cut down these trees, but I forgot my axe. I'm going to start using someone else's axe. That would be strange. I like the way my axe feels. It's so sturdy and it calms me. Oh, I miss that axe. I've been passing the time by writing letters and throwing some in the water. I'm writing poetry. It's not very good, but I'm getting better. Hopefully no one finds the terrible poetry. I'm sure it's not that bad. Go on, Davidil. Let's cut some dang wood, yo! Yes, berries, they grow in bushes. But you didn't know that at all. Better watch out for the tree, though, it's gonna... Or not. These look incredible! I was just dreaming about these. You hungry? You hungry? There you go. These are my berries, sorry. For, for, this is summer, they're not for you. Ooh, what's this? Valuable ring. Cool. Less on this island than I expected there to be. I admit. A 
What's up, Atul? You just fished out a bottle from the sea. That's not trash. It could be anything in there. A tiny ship, an old wine, a baby crab. Yes, yes, it could be even it could even be trash. Go ahead and try to crack it open. Getting close, sort of. Hey, where to next? This is all the way over here. May as well. See what I can find. Oh. A lumberjack with an ant without an axe, crying and sobbing. Old trees aren't worth, aren't feeling the cutting. We'll grow old, they said, laughing. I think that person really needs to find their axe. Woo, we got a mackerel! Let's go cook it! Yeah. A lightning storm! Okay. Let's go. Catching all of them. Nope, missed it. Nope, missed it. No, I missed it. Cat, no. I swear you're gonna die one day, cat. Caught you. Caught you. Come on. It's rain. Will it ever stop? Mm. Let me hug you. Feel better, please. I love you. <laughs> okay, that's what that does. Well, still, I'm sure you remember my old sewing machine. 
It was a Devo with gold lettering and a manual wheel. You know, I've always been into textiles. Well, a few years ago, I went to a museum which had tons of different sorts of fabric crafting machines. I couldn't help but notice you can build a loom on this ship. It'd be a great opportunity to teach me a few, teach you a few tricks. I'm quite sure you'll need a thread and fabric soon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This looks lovely. You hungry yet? You were. Dang it. I tried. You saw you saw it, I tried. Give me some corn. That's a lot of corn, wow. I need a lot more linen. I'm getting there, okay? Got a surprise? What do you got? I was hungry as usual, so I did something about it. I went outside and gathered some berries. But I learned a little overboard. I have too much. Here you go. Have a berry a day. Four berries. Alright. This loom looks fantastic. Don't be scared. It's in perfect working order. Let me show you how it works. You put fiber inside and then it spins. Just make sure you hit the targets. Get a little extra if you hit the mark needle. See? Pretty easy, right? Now you try it. Try it with this fiber. Mm -hmm. See, it's not that hard. The machine does all the work, you just have to flow with it. That's why it makes it so soothing. The rhythm, the sound, the feel of it. Utterly satisfying. I'll probably give it a go myself when you don't need it. But don't worry about the materials. I'll manage. Hey. I know, you love coffee. There you go. Excuse me, just need to water up my plants. Nope, need to water this too. I got a bunch of linen thread. I can make you your stupid sawmill now. This looks amazing! Thank you for your help for helping me out, Stella. This sawmill is so big! What a beauty! There's just one problem. Now don't get mad. 
I don't have any money to repay you. I guess that's why we call it a favor. You see what I did there? Thanks again, Sprouts. Well, you're not actually going to teach me how to use it, are you? You want to teach me how to do it then? Well, no, I want to. I want to do it again. Dang it! Oh, whatever. That's fine. You did great. You're ready to start cutting wood like a champ. Just remember, be careful with the sawmill. Don't go messing around with dangerous saw blades. Just because you got leftover wood doesn't mean you should cut your hand off. Do whatever I want. Okay, fine, I'll go to bed. Sheesh. Hmm. <clears throat> this is going well. A bit. Running out of space again. <laughs> Fabric. Water my stuff. You cut down my stuff. Might as well grow some more coffee. What do you think, Daffodil? What should we get? What should we do? Hmm? This is easy. This is fun. I never actually went to that other place, did I? I got too distracted. Dang it, me. Can't trust me to do anything. Wow. Ugh. <laughs> Cut down this tree. I don't know about you, but I don't Okay.
Nope. What I love about spitting, about spitting is the talent you need, you know? It takes real skill to find a target, aim and hit a bullseye. That's skill and raw talent right there. I just love that I'm good at something. Hmm. I could spit off tall buildings forever. I'll be off chance that I might hit someone right in my head. I seem to never run out of spit. The small bridge isn't very high up and nobody ever swims down there. So it's pretty satisfying hmm. to spit. Fully equipped. I've got my mouth. I've got a bottle of water. I've got my bottle of water. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. I've got the spirit to do it for years. Okay, you guys are gross. Lovely little place you got there. A little worried that everything's covered in spit now, but what else? You do you. Oh, strawberries. You hungry? I know you love food. Give me a hug, Uncle. Yeah, you better. You better. Okay, it's getting a little dark in here, but okay, but we can put up with that for a little while. And I have some wood. Come on. Thank you. Okay. So it's like a different kind of wood or? I love a tool. He's doing his best. A tall. A tall? Name's not my strong point, honestly. It doesn't help that his name is different compared to, like, Gwen and Summer. Oh, everyone wants something. Oh. I can do that. Okay, yep. You selling anything new? No? Well, I am. I will cook you some stuff. Mm -hmm. Stella, I've got to tell you, there is something I've stumbled upon some time ago and up until now it didn't seem that important. Mm -hmm. Brace yourself. Remember my parents met at the, on the lake? As weird as it sounds, it's not too far from here. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. It makes me wonder about this world too. I must admit, I've been actively trying to avoid it. At any rate, it's become harder to ignore. As I've spent much time with you here, I think I'm ready to tackle this mm -hmm. challenge. I'll probably only find regrets and sorrows there, but it's worth a shot. I've added a location to your map. Be ready whenever you are. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been very tired recently. I'm afraid to say that it's starting to weigh on my morale. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I think the guest house, as lovely as it is, might not be very good for me. It's a bit too noisy and quite cramped. I hate to ask this, really. But could you maybe arrange for me to have a little private space on the boat? I think it would help me tremendously. 
and we could continue our lessons. But nothing too fancy, just a place to sleep and meditate. Lush greenery, perhaps? I would be delighted to have natural stones. Yes, that would be splendid. Thank you again, Stella, deeply. Okay. As you know, I tend to get hungry. That's just a fact of life. Sometimes when I do, I get hungry for really specific things. Your Aunt Viv would always call it laser focus tummy. Oh, don't get me wrong. I still eat pretty much whatever you put in front of me. I just like to put effort into this one. I you shout whenever I get a craving. Well, they won't ask for anything too extreme. You have a dough with this appetite. Fair warning, Sprout. Aww. Well, well, hmm, I could go th Yep. I would love that, Fred. Thank you. You hungry? You are hungry. Have some popcorn. to know what you like. <laughs> Tell me your favorite food so I can make it. Okay, I'll give her some coffee next time. Maybe she likes coffee. I don't know. <laughs> what is what are vegan snakes like, huh? <laughs> I don't know what vegan snakes like. <laughs> snakes aren't supposed to be vegan. Oak planks. Got it. I'm fine. I can do it. Never mind. So I doubt whether I can do it or not. That one was better. That one was a lot better. That one was not. Don't remember how many I needed. Need two more. Great. Grilled veggies. Now I just I cook my strawberries. I shouldn't have put so many. And I just needed one, didn't I? Uh. Yep, did great. Thank you.
Okay, there. Now there's more space. <sighs> I don't know. Incredible stir. Wood. Plants. There's even an old natural room for meditation. You really outdid yourselves. How well I'll sleep in, this, in that hanging bed. Yes, I'll be back at full health in no time, and maybe. Listen, I have a favor to ask of you. It's become obvious to me that I need to take better care of myself. Let the body listen to the mind. To that end, I need clarity. Need power and energy. Positive minerals are what I'm missing right now. Stones and crystals are connected to the world on an elementary level. Just as the moon is dark when hidden from the sun, living beings will wither when the telluric link is severed. Stella, what do you say? Could you bring me some gems and minerals to fill up my cabinet? Three of them should be enough. It would be for nothing, you see. I'll teach you all about interesting properties. Okay. Didn't really get to ask too many things for me, Summer, when... Whoops. What else? I didn't actually pay attention to see if I got the right stuff, but... Completed your first errand. What a great haul. There's plenty more if you ever feel like it. I'll always be around. I want to check out your room. Plants and limestones. Leak! I don't have leaks! Great! What a fool I am to not have leaks! get anything. <laughs> this is a this is a pain. I need to work it out. Okay, no, obviously I don't want to go there. Um, I don't know. Go, go there first and then, I don't know, work something out. Found something down here. Ah, leak. Yes, I'm going something. Finally. <laughs> Why are vegetables so hard to find? <laughs>
Go through mushrooms. See what See what I can get from that. Damn it. Well, that one was actually really good. I mean, I'm not good at it and still, but getting better at it. That's Toriyama. Yay! New place. What up? You know me. I could always go for a little snack. Something salty. Something buttery. Something with flavor. Oh, jeez. Oh, just perfect. Big old bag. Okay. Okay, sure. Yep, 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 yep. You're hungry. I don't have any popcorn for you, but give me two seconds. I can cook up some popcorn for you. Whoops. Come on, give me some popcorn! Yeah! Okay. Hug, bud. I love you. <sighs> I'm sorry, I didn't think feeding you popcorn would make you remember things. It's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. exquisite, worthy of the best fine dining restaurants I've been to. I've been in those a lot. Thanks a lot. Give me a hug. Mm. Yeah, you're amazing. Mm. Plus, thank you for the fiber. Mm. Got a little snack, feeling quite hungry. Mm. Now about some poached fruit? Oh, you found my weak spot. My weak sweet spot, dear. I can't say no to dessert. I feel sugary perfection. Thank you very much. Maple planks. Okay. That's actually not that difficult. Hmm. How can I improve the kitchen, huh? go explore this island. See what I can find. Is anything worth finding?
Hello, island. Is there anything worth sheep? I want a sheep. Sorry, old habits die hard. I'm sorry. I should have just gone up the ladder. Oh, hello there, young lady. How are you doing? Oh, yes. Right. Perhaps you can help me. You must have stumbled upon a fluffy sheep on the, on the loose down there. I tried getting it back into its enclosure, but the stubborn creature wouldn't listen to me. Chances on your side. It's got a weak spot. It's gluttony. You would definitely feel for anyone who would feed it. Would you be really dear and give it a try? Okay. I can try, man. Eat carrots. Is that it? Is that a good? What about corn? Mm. Oh, great! It's following. Just, just leave to enclosure next to the pier. Oh, follow me. I'm going there. Goodness! But oh, what a nice sheep! It followed you all the way to its home. Always following your stomach, aren't you, little guy? Tee hee, my sounds are just like that. Don't you think it looks lonely? Maybe that's why it left. I'm gonna keep it company, don't worry, but maybe. Well, if you found another stray sheep, could you bring it back here? They could entertain each other. If it's not too inconvenient for you. Oh, I'm Alice, by the way. Very nice to meet you. Okay. Let's see what I can do. I know where a sheep is actually. Cool. Caving. Oh, got some coal. Cool, got some copper. Looks like a little bit of something I'll be able to do later. Give me the coal. That's slate. That's not coal. Never mind. <laughs> oh, well, I do mind. I'm gonna keep my bad jokes to myself from now on. Is this coal? Yes. Needed coal. Found a secret? I found a secret! Ah, oh, I missed something. Oh, heck you, I'm gonna do that again. Yeah, that's right. I'm not formal for that. I will fall for that, though.
cool, 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 cool. So, next on the agenda is finding Alice a lovely sheep. Daffodil is gone forever. Rest in peace. stuff great I should go there and I'm gonna go get the sheep and then that'll be it <laughs> I think that'll be a fine place to end it Maple. Ooh. I don't like this. you don't like something all you want but you got you're gonna have to tell me what it is you don't like <laughs> should have it I I will we will I promise we will Let's have other stuff to, to do was it an eclipse no Okay. We get the Dover now. Whatever. Don't know when I got another leak seed, but yay. Sure, why not? I'll grow some rice as well. Get a new meal going. I'll grow tofu. I don't know. I genuinely don't know what I'll be. Just rice. Gotta get. I gotta get Uncle on another. Hmm. What? Here that I am. Add new island. I forgot. Totally didn't forget to explore. I just, I just knew I should go somewhere else first. That's what happened. Oh, a visitor. Welcome. Are you here for our world-renowned Furugawa tours? Of course you are. You're holding our brochure. The tour is about to start. It takes about five minutes and covers the history of and flora of this island. After, you'll be able to tell all your friends about it. Don't worry, there's no gift shop after this tour. Ready? Sure. Good back. As you can see, this island doesn't get many visitors. People tend to focus on big city attractions. Yeah, it's peaceful and quiet. That's something you'll notice with the fauna. Rice patches and a, he a healthy forest are its main attractions. Moving on. Why can't I get too close? Huh? 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 The rice production here is quite incredible. Workers help us around the clock to feed local families. Right now, no one is around. I am not sure why. 
Sometimes I sometimes play in them when I am off duty. That's beside the point. Off to our next stop. <laughs> Don't get too close, she says, as I... You mean this tree? This tree that I'm going down right now? Name wood from it. You can feel the humidity. I mean, really feel it. This oak forest really gets to me. We have a connection. A strange connection. I tend to skip this part of the tour, to be honest. Move along, that would be great. I'm picking up some wood. Okay. Well, I need to continue on with this tour. Because I will get some more wood for us first. Give me some wood. Speaking of which, this fortune tree is the centerpiece of the whole island. We are not sure who, when it was first planted. People from all over the world travel here and leave little messages. Anything to help with their lives. Alright, this concludes our tour. For regard with tours, great for your participation. Thank you for your ears and your patience. Thank you for your, and for your presence. If you'd like to leave a tip, I would be appreciated. I remember. Okay, sure. You mean to find another sheep, but hey, look, a sheep. Don't know what'll be down here, but I'll take it. How do I get up? I guess I don't. I don't know, maybe I'll unlock a triple jump at some point. Come on, sheep. Alice needs you. We have a sheep that's in need of a sheepy pal. I actually have a sheep now. Cool. Didn't mean to do that. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. I don't think they noticed. I'm sorry. Hmm. See, I love you. 
You're welcome. Brought a second sheep. Oh, look, you're be so happy together. Aww. We're acting kind of coldly. That's surprising. Well, we just have to get to know each other. I'm sure the best of friends in no time. As for me, well, it was nice feeling needed. What, so you want me to join you on your travel? Oh, no, 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 no. I couldn't possibly impose myself on all of you. Besides, I'm sure there's no room for me. For sure, this little island's bare, but I'm sure the little house could fit quite nicely here. A little bungalow with a nice fire and flooded house, maybe. Pale tones and cozy cottage facade. Oh, green window shades. My vote would be so wonderful. Oh, so it was lost in my fault. So you go ahead, I'll be fine just here. I'm gonna build you your house, damn it. Anyways, that'll be it for today, guys. Maybe something a little bit later. Not entirely sure when or what. But I really appreciate the time. And I hope you have a lovely day. See you, dudes. <laughs>